They'll be calling you a radical. I want to talk about the Pacific Ocean. Fukushima in the Pacific Ocean. That incredible blue spiritual worshipped, respected piece of this entire everything that we are. It kills me how these so-called experts these posture groom and the mainstream media and the alternative media, which is the mainstream media, when they bring somebody out, you almost know they're delegitimate as soon as they let them talk. The Pacific Ocean is not a fucking bathtub. I mean, okay, let's talk about this. One, if it was just the last 90 days of pouring in the Pacific, which we know factually, TEPCO's press conference himself, this is a fuck the media and the populace is in this country. TEPCO's own press conference. We're losing containment into the Pacific and we don't know if it, that has been happening the whole time. Their watchdog, we're sure that it's been pointing to the Pacific the whole time. The international team, my 15 different studies in June of 2011, July of 2011, May of 2011, August of 2011, December of 2011, April of 2012, on and on and on and on, 15 studies. Plutonium, PU, 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 cesium, thousands of times in the current. Okay, class, class, let's go back to the third grade, you journalistic fucks. And I love it how fucking these two, Gunderson and Busby, these fuckers, and this passive bullshit. When are we going to fucking realize, you fucks? It's just like the fucking trickle-down economics and the Greenspan fairy tale free market fucking slash the fucking thing to zero fucking fed. When are we going to fucking realize the economic fucking practice that we've used for 30 years is a fucking failure? We keep going right down the same road. QE1, Q2, 3, 4. What fucking next? They lowered the rate to fucking zero when it should have been fucking raising. It's the same thing with the anti-nuclear fighters. How oh, high? Yes, I think it, the solution to pollution is dilution. Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking 101. 101. Science 101. Nuclear fallout is not fucking pollution. It's nuclear fallout. And it's asymmetric. It's fucking opposite of pollution. It doesn't dilute. It grows. It's China syndrome when it gets bigger. The Pacific Ocean is not about, okay, say it does, we know it's a giant body of water, but it doesn't just lay there. So it's just like anything else in life. You don't know where the heavy pockets are in there, why not? Okay, just go throw your rubber ducky in the fucking ocean, which has been done. How soon is Jack Russell, how soon did that bridge make it to freaking out? We know that the fucking, from the current in Fukushima, Japan, to the California couldn't send it, can make it in as short as five days. Five fucking days. Some of the swiftest rivers in the world. Okay, class, class, here's Fukushima, Japan. It's in on the edge of the Pacific. It comes down like this. There's a small current that runs like there's a small barrier reef right there, about 15 mi miles off the coast. Now remember, the international study in June of 2011 said it 40 miles on the other side of the barrier. It was already into the current. Fish swim. Tuna, that sacred, sacred, sacred being that tuna is, the silver streak, as it's been called by Mariner. You know, it's it's like technology. Sailors at the time of the Revolutionary War and before that were more efficient than they are now. It, it, I love it how we think the technology is better now. They because they were crap and they were skills when they turned the, the trade winds. Look at the old paintings lined up in New York Harbor of the ships. Read into go read Moby Dick again. Okay, that current comes down like this. It hooks into the Japanese current, one of the swiftest rivers on this globe. Now, the Japanese current goes up like this, curls down, gets right near San Francisco off there, and it splits. And it goes up into the Gulf of Alaska, the biggest fishery in the world. Go have another fucking fish burger at Wendy's. That's where it's all coming from. Then it curves down, and it goes like this, and it runs right down the coast of California, Mexico, all the way down. It's called the California Current. So to sit and think that fucking plutonium pushed in for fucking 900 fucking days. Plutonium, 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 fucking plutonium. 
Half-Life 24,500 years unmocks it. We know factually the number four fucking some of it's in the fucking plume and in the fucking water. Half-Life hundreds of thousands of years, if not billions. So you could have a place laying here, could have none. Another place with heavy fish swim through currents, in currents. You don't think that's silver streak? It's been hypothesized, and again, marine biologists, how would they fucking know what happens with it? As they said, we don't know the migration fucking thing of the tuna. Oh, well, maybe we'll learn. This is how fucked up this asshole in Stony Brook, who's another Busby fucking Gunderson. I mean, you think about it. We've all been fighting this for so fucking long, and we know how fucking evil nuclear fallout is. We knew how fucking evil it was 30 years ago. Gunderson was working for them. I mean, come on. Fuck, I, yeah. it fucking blows my mind, and this is personal. I'll tell you it's personal because I saved the emails. I don't attack someone ever, ever in my life, and they say, I was raised in the Marine culture by a Special Forces Marine. Oh, you don't think I know the rules of engagement? Oh, do I fucking know them. I never attack another person in, ever in my life, ever. But if they attack me, I fight the fuck back. I always have fought the back. My brother always tells a story. Wendridge High School, right here, Weber High, people can verify their watches. 2,000 students. I was a small kid, but I was a tough kid. You know, I had this long freaking hair. I was an artist, you know, but I was a tough-ass kid. Two biggest hillbilly fucking redneck fucking boys, two years older than me. Fucking picking on people. He says, the whole school gather, and I go out, and there's this little line by there fighting them both, knocking the fuck out of both of them. I'm not afraid of any of you fuckers. But when you attack me, Busby attacked me while I was in critical condition, critical condition, in the fucking hospital, near dead, slipping in and out of a cone. You should see these emails. I mean, these fuckers really think they're fucking something. Gunderson fucking emailed me over. I told me I didn't know what I was talking about. He told me for two fucking weeks, and I have it. I have the emails. I finally blocked his fucking ass. This was a hydrogen plume. I didn't know anything what the fuck I was talking about. I'm like, fuck, dude. I mean, over and over, he says, oh, no, he was covering for them then. And then you stick him on the point on the song and offer it. Oh, fuck. It's like somebody sent me an email the other day and says, worst thing that ever happened to the nuclear industry was Kevin Blanche getting cancer. Though my mind is not for rent, don't put me down as arrogant. As somebody says, talk about chemtrails, talk about harp, and I says, I made a promise to all of you early in this vlog when I was doing my PhD. I would not talk about anything unless I was so incredibly sophisticated. What do I talk about? Finance, socioeconomics, culture, nuclearism. Try me. Try me. Try me. But you fuckers need to fucking learn that our tactics have failed. We're going to do our walk September 20th. It's going to be a very peaceful walk. But that's part of this because we're going to educate the populace around the world. That's what I'm doing. Educate the people who are, you can be fucking tough. Cultural conversations are dangerous, passionate, intelligent arguments. To say that the fucking solution to fucking Fukushima is delusion is the most fucking obscene. Fuck you, you're working right for the nuclear industry when you make a statement like that. That is one of the most grotesque statements I've ever heard in my life. It is factually not only untrue, it is factually the opposite of the truth, just like the media fucking plays. It is black and yellow journalism. The Pacific Ocean is not a bathtub. It is a sacred ecosystem, the most complex ecosystem on this beautiful land. And the whole ecosystem, one is the other, and other is us. We, we, the jet stream tells me so. Fukushima is the biggest ecological fucking disaster to this fucking Mother Earth in the history of the world on Balco. By many fucking thousands of times. And all you anti-nukers who fucking fought this last 40 years, it's just like us fucking social inequality fuckers. We fought and bitched about that all day. Change fucking tactics. Learn what the fuck you're talking about. Understand what a tariff is. Understand what a usury war is. Understand who the shirtwaist girls were. Understand Hamiltonian theory. We need a third party. A guy told me the other day, he says, Kevin, bull moose my ass. It needs to be the Hamilton party. Fucking A it does. Oh yes. Just like religious leaders in this country. <laughs> when are some of you spiritual leaders going to change tactics? We're going with the devil flow. With the evil flow. With the opposite of who you are. Jesus died so I can be rich. Really? Really? Where the fuck? You lying fuckers!
fucking solution to pollution. The Pacific is being annihilated. The sea lions we know. What do you fuckers want? What do you fuckers want? The conspiracy, Plume Gate, the Pacific Genocide, 311. What do you fucking want? The sea lions dying. We know. They're fucking dying. Widely reported everywhere. The scientist goes right down there, right underneath San Onofre, puts the fucking guy, he's lit up with radiation like you can't believe. The dolphins are fucking dying. We know factually. Birds coming into the fucking fisheries. The cod and the herring. Radiation burns. If the, same old, same old, you fucking self-indulged, arrogant, ignorant fuckers. You don't call me arrogant. You're the arrogant fuckers. This baby boomer, echo boomer. Oh, hi. Look at my hairspray. Oh, yes. Hi. We talk like this. You know, I'm on the news. I talk like this. Oh, believe me. Oh, the fucking... Hi, this is NPR. We the the fucking ocean has been destroyed and fucking annihilated, and we may have fucking stopped all of humanity for a fucking time and all eternity. Let's check the weather now. Oh, can you believe what they're doing in Syria? Oh my God! You poor dumb pathetic fuckers make me sick.